Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff the Maniac here, and today I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to fly the gyrocopter. Sometimes I see people talking about how do people fly this. I was flying it in Skippy Stream the one day, and I saw people saying they have hard times flying it, and it only took me a few tries to learn how to actually fly it. Now I'm going to get straight to the point. This video is probably not going to be longer than three or four minutes. If you guys want to learn how to build it, it's pretty simple. You just got to get the schematic or I think it's a perk to learn how to build it, learn how to make the accessories and the chassis to it. And you just got to get the material, so that's pretty straightforward. But I'm going to teach you guys how to fly it. Let's go ahead and jump on it or sit in it. Yep. How do you guys like the skirt? I know. Don't worry. I got some uh, metal leggings on, I think. But anyways... You can actually, I saw someone post that you can't go in reverse. You can if you're staying completely still. So like if you just first hop in it and you need to adjust it without wanting to pick it up, you can just go ahead and just tap on the S key and go in reverse slightly. A and D are your turns, so just have your fingers in the regular position you used to use normally. You know, walk in, drive other vehicles. And this, I'm inside my giant hole right now, but when you go forward, the only two keys you need to do is I have my middle finger on the W key, I have my index finger on the C key, and my thumb on the space bar. Oh, I'm running out of room. But as you can see, I can just do this and then gotta adjust myself with the C. I'm gonna be failing. Oh no, here I go. Okay, that's because I was trying to teach you guys how to where I put my finger place. That's my bad. But yeah. Space, uh, my thumbs on the space bar, my index fingers on the C key, and I have my middle finger going through W and S, S is to slow down and pretty much break kind of. But let's go ahead and try this again. Space bar is to go up as you can see. Uh, just come on, get that lift. And you want to make sure you don't go too far up by holding the space bar because you're going to be going backwards and then you're going to be flying down going tilting upside down and all that fun stuff but I'm having issues getting out of the, my hole right now you know what? one second guys okay here we go you know it's not a Jeff video unless you're struggling with whatever the hell you're doing but here we go this is how I normally take off outside of my hole just gotta get that little angle to go up and then as you can see, I can hold C, press C if I want to tilt, go forward, get some D action going to turn it. You can also use your mouse button to do that as well. But here we go, if I want to fly to the city over here, or if there's a city over there. Gower copters are great to find bigger cities. Now I have my uh, graphic settings turned down to low right now because I've been having issues with my graphics car lately. I have the 980, so I think I'm just. I think I need it's time for an upgrade. So yeah, that's gonna be coming probably next month. So videos are gonna be spare or simple between now and then. But look at this. Oh, who built right there? So you can go down, and then you don't want to tilt too far down, otherwise you're just gonna start going down fast. I mean, gravity is not really your friend. But you know what? You just need a little bit of an angle. Press C to get a little bit of an angle go down. Space take a little bit of angle going up, and then when you have a decent angle, you can just hold W and just kind of even it out and fly to wherever you need to go. The best part about the gyros is, and any vehicle is, that you can pick it up, put it in your backpack by just holding, I think it's E. How That's how you also open up your uh, inventory and stuff. But, that's going to be it for this video. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just a lot of people have issues with it, but it took me a few tries to learn how to do it. I had issues with this episode or this how-to video because, as you can see, sometimes it gets a little wonky. Like right there, going way too far up. I had to adjust it very quickly. Now, I'm just going to show you what happens if you don't let go of space and keep going. You're going upside down. Sometimes it's not going to work out, but you can press C to adjust it. But you lose all momentum in the middle of the air. You're pr you're pretty much stalling out, and then you landing is a bit of a tricky part because uh, you want to make sure you 
don't go out go, don't go too hot let go of the gas and you know what that's that's fine <laughs> but yeah you want to make sure you let go of the gas you kind of want to sail in when you're landing oops just broke that piece of wood and yeah like this here we go this should be a better landing I let go of the gas I'm actually holding S right now to get that break in and that's a good landing there we go we did it but yep that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to know how to do anything else in seven days to die let me know and if you want to see anything else in the future let me know as well until next time remember to change that world one smile at a time you never know whose life you could save or change and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace out guys